Hey, good morning, everyone. Trackman44 here. Hey, you know, I was going to do a video on um, on whenever we were cutting up, you know, the meat, you know, the, the pig. And uh, doggone just got so busy, just didn't have time to even set the camera up for a, a YouTube video. But I did pull my phone out and take those silly vertical videos for a, a TikTok. Well, I uploaded in the meantime a TikTok of loading the pigs in the cooler, and it got banned. It got blocked for gore and excessive violence. So it was really knocking my channel and everything, you know, on TikTok. So I had to delete that movie. So in the meantime, I've got a wasted butchering video that I can't use on TikTok. So I'm going to put that video on this one here and tie it in to today's bacon slicing. So uh, you're going to see a stupid little weird video with a bunch of little sharp clips. Oh, that's thanks to TikTok. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to go back to business again. this uh, bacon slice. My son-in-law has been curing it for the last week, and he's got uh, got it smoked, and so we're gonna slice her up today. Hey, good morning, TikTok, Crackman44 here. Hey, we're out in the butcher shop, man. We got the first half just about done. Trimming up the ribs. First slab of bacon sitting there. You got a, a few racks of ribs. There's the first ham sitting right there, and uh, sausage being trimmed out back in the back. Second half coming in with the pig poker right through the table. First little bit of sausage going through the Hobart. I hit it again. Okay, we have to trim the, uh, scrape the uh, the bone meal off the pork steaks, and then we'll just trim the fat off of the trimmer, and uh, it'll be good to go. A couple of nice tenderloins here. We do roughly 12 pounds per batch of, of um, sausage and put one tablespoon per pound, typically, of the saucy seasoning. And this is a breakfast season using in this right now. So here's a little stack of uh, pork chops. One time it was like... I really meant to do a video on it, just didn't get the time, and uh, it is what it is. We'll be doing beef in a few weeks, so uh, maybe I'll get a chance to do a video on that one. So all the rest of the family's got their meat all gone. This is what little bit here left. That's going to go in our freezer, and that's about it. More ribs, more pork chop, pork chop roast, tenderloin roast, uh, mixed in with sausage. So in these small packs, we have some of the bacon dry curing in there. And we still have just a um, a little bit of sausage there, and more sausage, pork chops, pork uh, pork tenderloins, pork steaks, and uh, some other some other cutlets and uh, things of that nature over there. Well, like I said, I only have those silly vertical uh, videos for TikTok, so uh, the actual butchering video is not that good. So I thought we'd go ahead and add the bacon slices right at the tail end. Of course, I think I said that before too. This year, the son-in-law tried his hand at, um, at doing the seasoning, and so uh, he salt cured yeah, no, and everything, and then he went good. ahead and, uh, I think, about 18 pounds, he went ahead and smoked. By the way, that meat slicer, there's a $50 auction purchase. He's getting started on the one over there that uh, that is not smoked. The, uh, the remaining portions of them over here are all smoked and uh, they'll probably slice just a little bit different. They're definitely going to smell a little different. Actually, you told me there's absolutely no difference in the way they slice. That kind of surprised me a little bit. Yeah, we normally have these cured by the uh, by the fellows that we actually get the, the halves of, of pigs from. But uh, this is the first year for my son-in-law and my daughter to, uh, to go ahead and go through the process of, of um, 
seasoning themselves. And so they went ahead and spoke the rest of this. Boy, you can really tell the difference in the smell here coming off of the slicer. Actually, I probably shouldn't tell you guys that uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm munching on the remains of the very first pound of um, smoked bacon that I had the missus fry up for me here just a little bit ago. You can kind of tell he worked his way through college working in a meat shop, can't you? There's the missus and the daughter over there on the other side on the vacuum sealer. What are you laughing at? I'm going to put 2020 right there for you. <laughs> We're just having issues. This is not 2024. It was 2023. I put 331 and I didn't put the year. It's like you got to put the year. It's because you put the month with the date. Well. So I can leave the day off and just put the year on. That is a shame that most all you guys live so far away, I can't even invite you over for breakfast, can I? You know, for what it's worth, we found that the bags that don't have the serrations on one side on the interior, they uh, they seal okay, but they don't want to draw a vacuum very well. I think those uh, serrations allow that air to be drawn out by that vacuum pump uh, inside that sealer much, much better. And it's not our imagination either because we've proved it several different times. So what we do is we save those bags for, uh, for dog food. What we've been doing, we've been cooking the heads and the hearts and some of the other stuff, the tongue, and then a lot of the bones, um, cooking the meat off of it in the kettle, and then making our own dog food out of it. It works really well, and they absolutely love it. Well, guys, we got that bacon sliced. Uh, we get roughly roughly 19 to 20 pounds on average uh, per hog. So that's already, uh, it's already sliced. It's in the uh, vacuum-sealed bags, and got some of it in my daughter's freezer, and got the rest of it in my freezer. So... Uh, I apologize for those silly little narrow videos, you know, but that's all I got to go this year. But we are getting ready to, to uh, butcher beef. Just put a beef in the cooler yesterday morning. So in a couple of weeks, we'll be uh, processing that. And hopefully I'll get some good comprehensive video of that. Um, and for now, this is Track Minute 44, and I'm out of here, guys.